So, I'm gonna wipe down the toe, and we're gonna. It's tender. It's very tender, so I'm gonna be very, very, very gentle down here. Okay. okay we'll go half an hour to get the polish off, so you can see. Let's see. Yeah, definitely a lot of possible pus that's just hanging underneath there. I know, there. I can tell. I can, I can feel it, I can see it. I so normally, I'll tell you this, I hold the toe from the top and bottom, that might be a little sensitive to it. But how it works is I give you a pinch on either side of the toe. So we'll start on one side. So on one, two, three, you're going to feel a pinch and a sting. If mm -hmm. you feel like moving your foot, don't. You can push your heel straight down into the chair just like that to give you some relief, okay? We do one side, then we do the other, and then the whole toe will be completely numb, okay? What's up, my toes? It's Jonathan, aka The Toe Bro, and I just want to say thank you to all of you who've reached out, sent me some pictures, told me a little bit about your story. I do have some help trying to reach out and cipher through all the different emails to try to figure out uh, how I can get to the people who need my help the most, but I'm going to try my best to answer all emails, so I'll give you guys some advice or some help and kind of guide you guys through the process because there, it's... It's just overwhelming how many people are suffering from foot issues and how some of these problems can be solved quite easily. So I thank you guys for sharing that with me. I'm feeling it. You're feeling it? Oh! Sorry, sorry, sorry. You're doing well. I know this toe's really sensitive. How's it now? Calming down a little bit? Yeah. Any pain right now? Not really. No, it was just that one little shock, right? Yeah. Okay. You kind of kicked me. I think you're the first person ever to kick me. Oh, you, I yeah, sorry. it was a it was a love it was a love tap. It was nice and <laughs> nice and soft. People suffering from extremely long, thick and toenails, toenails that they can't cut, or huge warts, or really painful warts that you guys tried lots of treatment, but nothing's working. So please, guys, keep on sending me some emails and pictures uh, of you, yourself, your family, friends, anyone around you who's really looking for help. And I'm really trying to sort through some cases to see who I can get here and get you guys some help as soon as possible. So thank you so much for all the support. It really, really pains me that I'm not able to be out there and travel to every single person who reached out and helped them myself personally. I wish I could, but unfortunately that's the reality of the world. So sorry about that. I know it's no fun, but you did really well. Well, that was a cute little scream though, I'll tell you that. <laughs> it was a cute little one. The young girl scream. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna bring in a tray, set everything up, and then we get started, okay? There's a lot of other foot specials in your own area that you just have to reach out and find and do some real research, and they can definitely help you out. So it's a big message to you guys to look out and get some help. I just love creating this awareness, and I really appreciate guys looking at your feet. So keep up the great work. Keep sending me some photos, and you guys are gonna hear um, about the results of this little call out. So thank you so much to all of you. This is a video you guys have been waiting to see for months, maybe even years since I started this channel. So I hope you guys enjoy it. This is an exciting one. Looking forward to seeing your emails. Tobro out. No pain? No more kicking me today then? That's, 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 that's good. Oh my gosh. So will that toe come back? Hopefully it will. Toenail's gonna come back. No, even though the, the, the stiffness. It'll come back. It'll come back. So what happened? You don't remember banging your toe? I don't remember banging it. Seriously, I don't remember. Okay, that's something that you won't really miss. I think it's all the... Since I started the workout, I would, I remember telling my doctor, hey, this doctor is new for me. Yes. Because my other doctor says she was retiring because she's older. Yes. Yeah. So... I was doing workout for how long? And when I started the workout, I know my toes start changing. Yes. It start looking different, and I have the thing on the side and under here. Yes. Yeah, since I started work up, but I don't remember banging it because you feel that thing, man. So this is the thing I was telling you, that sometimes trauma that yeah. can cause this doesn't have to be banging a toe. It could be... The shoe. Shoes. The nail's too long, it bangs the front of yeah, the that shoe. Yeah, sometimes my, my nails, yeah. that one get... Yeah, they come very long. It could be the, the shoe's too, too short, too small. So all these things end up causing trauma and what happened it looks like is you had just too much pressure okay. and that's what caused the damage to the nail and now the nail became lifted yeah. and that we got a little bit of some pus or or infection yeah, underneath. It's a whole lot of pus. Oh 
Okay. So, you're watching, huh? I don't know if I want to watch. <laughs> I think you do. I'm like that. I, I, I'm go look away. So this is the biggest thing. Nothing should hurt. Okay. And if it hurts? You let me know and we add more freezing. <laughs> Nothing should hurt though. I'm, I'm getting ready to get hit in the face with some, so some good stuff. So, because we're not stopping the nail from growing and there's some oh pus already coming out. Oh yeah. <laughs> I should pierce it. But that's not good for me to pierce it though. Well, what happens if you pierce it? Oh yeah, there's a lot in there. If I pierce it, what? If you pierce it, you're going to create an opening. But if you don't remove the nail, more bacteria will get stuck inside. Okay. And more, more problem. No pain? No, I'm not feeling pain, but what pain for? Well, you are watching. I am watching. <laughs> Nervously. Okay. So we separate the nail from the nail bed. And we're just going to get this nail off. Oh, I thought it comes out. There is a lot of pus. So I don't have a hero nail then? No. Even though your nail is quite curved, this is not the problem. Okay. Yeah, because usually when they go, they take out the, they try to cut at the side when you go do a pedicure or something like that, but some of them don't know how to do that thing properly. And I'm not good at taking it out myself. Your nail is very tight, I'll tell you that. That's what the doctor was saying to me, that my nail is very firm, so you don't see why the, the first doctor. No, but you can see the fluid underneath. Yeah, I, yeah, but when I went to him on Monday... Oh my god. This one. Yeah. That looked painful. When I went to him on Monday, did I take out some flesh? He did. The nail? Is that a bad thing? That's a bad what thing. What did he take out? I'm just curious from where. No, I didn't take... No, oh. I'm talking a while ago. No, but look at that. What happened? Nothing. That's the whole nail. All gone. So all that pocket of pus that all came out. Mm -hmm. Your nail came out in a nice one piece. We check the corners to make sure nothing's left behind. See, if you just poke a hole yeah. and you get the, the pus out, great. But now you still have this pocket underneath the nail and this can cause more bacteria and infection to grow and things to spread so sometimes it's best just to get the whole nail off and start okay. fresh that's what doc say mm -hmm. that's what she looked at and she said no you think you're gonna take it off yeah yeah so just cleaning everything up making sure there's no nail no pus everything's healed everything's good so we got uh, six to eight months worth of fun of a new nail coming in and I'm, um, so that means like, uh, how do I go on my vacation with no nail? You don't need a nail to look good. You look good with, without that. Um, no one's going to be looking at... 50th birthday, that's... 50th minus 30. <laughs> 50th birthday, I... Have a trip. You'll be okay. So what will happen? We come back in a week. But you're going to see that it's going to start to close up pretty quickly. Yeah, so, and like, so how long before I can put it in a shoe though, though? Uh, and just call me Jonathan, you can put that in a shoe probably within two to three days. Okay. All the pain that you're feeling right now was because of all the pressure that was building yeah, up. Yeah, but with the nail come off, when it's wearing out, you sure I'm not going to go? Yeah, you'll be fine. So normally, 
in a week, when we just remove the nail and we allow the nail to grow back, yeah. this is going to this is going to heal up relatively quickly, yeah. and you can start putting on closed toe shoes within three to five days. Okay, so right now you say you're going to give me something to put on it, but I'm not going to touch this until a week comes. No, no. So, so how do I shower? You can shower with this tomorrow, with the whole bandage on. Then you can take everything off, dry the toe and redress it. So twice a day, every single day, cream, morning and night, okay. until we come back. 